All right, let's talk about um, heights. Okay, this is, this is a new principle for you guys. Um, everything that we've done so far came in at a default height. Um, that's okay. Um, we're going to really understand what the default parameters are for that kind of stuff as we progress. But um, a lot of times, almost all the time, you need to modify those heights. Um, the way that that's done is often, not always, often done by constraints. Um, so in order to talk about this one, I want to focus on um, your elevation and your plan. Okay. So um, when, when you look at the elevation, you're going to see these um, lines that are kind of going across the model. Those are what's called levels. Okay. Um, your project started with a default level. That default level happens at the zero, zero elevation, meaning zero feet, zero inches. And if you scroll off to the right, you'll see what that is, right? Level one, zero, zero. Level two, 10 feet. It's a pretty standard default starting point. Um, so everything that got modeled when you're drawing in floor plan one means level one, right? Floor plan, level one. That's where we are. So likewise, these levels are also view references, some of them. So you right click and you can say go to floor plan and it brings you here. Okay. Um, also, uh, I just want you to be aware that when you select these walls, so all three of these, um, looking over at the properties menu, you see that there's uh, a base constraint and that base constraint says level one. If I change the base constraint to level uh, of level one and I call it something like first floor, It'll ask me if I want to rename corresponding views. That's fine. You can say yes or no, right? So now that says first floor. All you have to do is just click it and then click it again. Um, if I go back and I select these three walls, notice that base constraint has changed. It now says first floor. That's because no matter what I name the thing, physically it is tied to that element, that level. Okay. So. Um, the base offset says zero. That means it goes all the way down to the ground, which is a default for most things. Um, and then the top constraint says up to level two. Okay. So um, if I move level two, for instance, now let's look back in a 3D view. All right. There's those walls. Uh, level two right now is at 10 feet. Let's say I want level two to be 12 feet. Um, you can go uh, click on the level and then click on the elevation and I'm going to call it 12 feet and that moved up. You want to see that again? I'll just control Z and go back. See how that went down? Up, down, up, down. Okay. Um, so if you want to change that, you select the three walls. Okay. And you need to do a few things. If you want it to be free flowing, um, then you change your top constraint to unconnected. Then you can just define what height you want it to be and it stays there no matter what you change the level. Um, if you want it to be tied to a different level, um, you can create like a roof level or something like that or top plate. We'll talk about that in detailing. Um, but for this one, I'm gonna say unconnected and I'm gonna change it to 20 feet. And now that's the same height as the exterior walls. Okay. What questions do you have about that? Okay. So similarly, I'm just going to throw this out there as a side thing. Um, families, right? Your doors, they don't just all exist at zero, right? Uh, we don't have any like access panel doors in this room. But I mean, there's no, there's no reason that you can't have a door that exists a little bit higher for like a balcony or something like that, right? Um, that also has an elevation parameter. In this case, it's called sill height. So if I wanted that to be say three feet off the ground, I type in three feet and it moves three feet off the ground. Can you guys see that? I need to move it up probably. Okay. Uh, for the wall? Yeah. A reason why I would want it to be unconnected? Yeah. Um, I don't get the unconnected part. 
Uh, well, I mean, basically, well, that's a very good question. Okay, so uh, let's look at it this way. Um, you have exterior walls and interior walls in this project. And um, the interior walls, for instance, um, let's say you're doing like an office building, right? In an office building, your interior walls don't go all the way to structure. They might only go nine feet or 10 feet and they'll just extend a little bit above the ACT ceiling. Um, so that would be like if this was an office, they would only go that high and they wouldn't change. So that, that would be unconnected. Okay. Any other questions? All right.